some players that really impressed me in week one. Uh, I want to start with Jalen Hurts. He looked very impressive against the Falcons. Uh, he was running around the field. He made impressive throws. Uh, obviously, as the Falcons, they don't have one of the best defenses, so we got to relax. We got to, uh, you know, take it with the grain of salt. But I think Jalen Hurts, he's, he took a positive step. Um, even if it is the Falcons defense, a lot of this NFL stuff is about confidence, believing in yourself. So I think Jalen Hurts doing good in week one is going to do wonders for him. He's going to help him with his confidence and, you know, just believing that he belongs. And there was a lot of talk about Minshew getting traded to the Eagles. I think we could all put that to rest. This is Jalen Hurts' job. And as a week one aud audition, he did great. I have him in my fantasy league in a couple of leagues. I'm very happy for how he performed. He looks like, you know, he can make some throws. He could run. We knew about his legs. So very happy about Jalen Hurts. Another player that impressed me, Kyler Murray, five touchdowns. Just incredible what he – Kyler Murray, I think uh, you're an amazing quarterback, number one pick. Obviously, you're like in your third year now. Hopefully, you make the playoffs this year. Hopefully, you know, your coach doesn't hold you back. But very, very impressive, Kyler Murray. If there was a week one MVP, it was Kyler Murray. And uh, But he had an impressive teammate, another player that impressed me, Chandler Jones. Five sacks, just terrorized Tannehill. Didn't allow him to do anything uh, with the help of J.J. Watt. Now Chandler Jones could be in for the best year of his career. He's a sack machine already, but with J.J. Watt being there next to him, he might just go for 20-plus sacks this season. He might even break the record. He has five in the first week. He needs, what, like 17 the rest of the way with an added game. Chandler Jones in the early, you know, record book watch. You got to keep an eye on Chandler Jones. Going for that sack record, starting week one with five sacks. Chandler Hill is going to have nightmares with Chandler Jones. Um, the offensive line is going to have nightmares with Chandler Jones. You know, he was going up against Taylor Lewan and, and, you know, their other tackle. And Taylor Lewan is one of the best tackles in the NFL. So it's just even more impressive what Chandler Jones did. Also want to highlight Matthew Stafford on Sunday Night Football. You know, after all the hype that, you know, we've been talking about Matthew Stafford, um, Sean McVay finally gets a, you know, a talented quarterback that he doesn't have to, you know, babysit and, you know, run all these QB friendly plays for. He can finally let it rip. And Matthew Stafford, you know, just going down the field, throwing a beautiful football, doing that bootle bootleg, uh, keeping control of the offense. Matthew Stafford looked impressive, over 300 yards, um, three touchdowns passing. Matthew Stafford, he's one of my, he's one of the people that I think are going to contend for MVP. And, you know, strong showing. The Bears have a good defense, too. So to do that against the Bears is very, very impressive. Matthew Stafford, one of the players that really impressed me in week one. I'm I'm, I'm excited to see him the rest of the way. I think the Rams, because of Stafford and McVay and their defense, they're going to be a team that has Super Bowl aspirations. Another duo um, that really impressed me, I want to give a shout-out to Darnold. He had a great game. Played against his old team in the Jets. He was talking about uh, how it was just crazy lining up for the national anthem and seeing the Jets and all his teammates, his past teammates, and all the people that he used to, you know, share a locker room with. A lot of boys. He had a good stat line. He, you know, he was throwing the football around. He, he passed it to, you know, Roby Anderson and his other wide receivers. He has a lot of weapons. He looked good. I'm excited for the Panthers. They were my team that... Um, they were my surprise team to make the playoffs in the NFC. And Christian McCaffrey coming back from injury, he did his thing, man. Running the ball, catching the ball. He's, you know, one of the most complete running backs, if not the most complete running back with Kamara in the NFL. And he just showed he just showed uh, the Panthers and the NFL what the what they were missing last year. And as an NFL fan, as a fantasy football fan, Christian McCaffrey is He's just ridiculous. He's amazing. The stuff he could do on the football field is ridiculous. Uh, he's so shifty. He's so strong. He catches the ball like a wide receiver. It's great to have Christian McCaffrey back. He's a he's a player that impressed me this week. And I got two more uh, for players that impressed me this week. Uh, don't forget about don't forget about Thursday night football. Dak Prescott coming back from that horrific injury, throwing over 400 yards, almost leading the Cowboys in a away victory at the. Buccaneers when they were you know celebrating the rings celebrating the championship to play that good with no offseason with no preseason with no training camp basically because of the shoulder Dak Prescott impressive impressive stuff 
I'm a believer in Dak Prescott. Deserve that contract. The Cowboys are going to win the NFC we- um, the NFC East. Dak Prescott with one of the strongest performances in week one. And in a loss. I think he's the only one that I put here with the loss. And to wrap it up, Jamar Chase. Uh, over 100 yards. The rookie looked good with the Burrow. Um, there's a lot of talk about his drops. That he wasn't adjusting well to the football. The NFL football. There, a lot of chatter. A lot of chatter. Week one, he goes deep. He catches a bomb. He has other catches. He goes for over 100 yards. And a burrow defended him after in the press conference saying, oh, you know, I thought he couldn't catch the ball or something along those lines. So it was funny. It's great. I, I love to see that from Burrow defending his guy, um, his LSU teammate, Jamar Chase, one of the players that impressed me in week one. Obviously, there's other players that played really good, but I can't highlight all of them. These are just the ones that caught my attention. Let me know what you guys think. What are some players that impress you guys? Obviously, there's teams, there's players on your guys' teams that you guys root for that did good. So, you know, let me know who else did good, who deserved a shout out um, in the comments or on Twitter. But yeah, just my list one more time. Jalen Hurts, impressive showing week one. Kyler Murray, Chandler Jones, they did their thing for the Cardinals. Matthew Stafford, you know, lived up to the hype for the Rams in week one. Christian McCaffrey and Darnold, it's good to see McCaffrey back. Good for Darnold to, you know, stick it to his old team. Dak Prescott, after that horrific in- injury, comes back and plays an amazing game in the season opener. And Jamar Chase, after all that talk in the preseason that he couldn't adjust to the NFL football, just goes off in week one. Great to see it. Uh, like I said, let me know what you guys think and let me know if uh, you guys have any other players.